If I have an automatic transmission that works, I'm going to use that. And I think it works. Probably should have tested that a little more thoroughly, but we're too deep. Lenny's just checking out the motor, seeing if it's going to be up to par. So far, it's passing. Well, she's a lot more stripped down. A lot more grease is exposed. This is working fantastic. Not really, actually. You might as well come out here and get sprayed in the face with me, with me so... I smell very strong gas. So that's... that's cool. Water's cleaned up, but there definitely is a lot of goop and stuff down in there. A lot, I mean. It's just... it's just thick. This engine could be called Mr. Magoo. I can hear the goo in the threads. What is up with this thing? Okay. Oh, oh no kidding. Woo! She's been machined already. Right there. Alright, now go the slow pan off and go from there. Come on. Get out of the motor for Pete's sake. Huh. Some trash at the bottom. It wasn't too crazy. There's a few chunks of stuff. Um other than that, that's about it though. That's pretty clean. Pretty happy with that. Alrighty. Well, that looks great. gloves all the time so when I don't wear gloves my hands are soft and weak I just pinched my hand spin that and I'm gonna bleed what I do for just some entertainment the pickup looks pretty clean I'll let you guys get in here quick and look at it well everything looks pretty good Getting any play. Just just uh this way. That's you know, there's supposed to be a certain amount. I remember I got I have no information on what, what's the allowed amount, but I think it feels real nice and tight, so that's good. Maybe all the pistons look good, nice and clean. Underside looks real, real good. I'm really happy with that. That's awesome. Judging by how much silicone or whatever they use to seal this up, I feel like it's going to be a bit trickier to um, get it sealed up again. But we'll get there. Look at that. That's it's just caked down there. First I wash this thing, and then there's still so many things I got to clean up. It's like it did nothing. I'll probably end up putting new bearings in it just to be safe. I, they're probably not too old, but whatever. Well, we're back at her again. Another day, new day. Well, basically night, but 
that's just how it rolls. I don't have a whole lot of free time anymore. So back at it. Um, I'm going to start pulling all the stuff off the front. Maybe take these brackets off. I don't know. Eventually I'll have to take them off at least. My main focus will be getting this front stuff off. All these, all this other stuff. The water pump. I'm going to get to the timing cover. Check out, check out the timing chain. And, uh, you know, what not from there. So let's just keep, keep it rolling. look for a puller. I'll be back. Well, I can't believe it. I guess I got him looking right at it. I actually might have the right tool for this. This is like really weird because I usually have the wrong tool that kind of works. But this actually might be right. Neat. Well, let's find out and just impact it and see if it comes off. Neat. Cutting off nice and hard, so that's good. I'm gonna spray a little bit of lubricant on that, just in case she's really fighting. This should work. How about that? No kid. I've never even re removed one of these before. But that worked really well. Harmonic balancer, that's the term. Now I remember. Just realized I never checked to make sure that it uh, needs to be lined up a certain way. Which it's keyed, so that's good, because I forgot to check. Learning is cool. Alright, I think I got only like a few more of these uh, 9 16 bolts holding the timing cover on. I think I'm just going to leave the water pump on the timing cover, just because I don't... I don't need it apart. I don't really care. It's not like it's gonna be a full of surprises. Not much there. At least I can tell from the rust that it's probably been replaced. I think, right? I think, I think that's how that works. I don't know. These are all different lengths. This will be fun putting back together. Just realizing that fuel pump probably needs to be taken off. That's riding a lobe or anything. Okay. Well, there's a big bolt I missed. If you look past all the grime, here's one. Oh, yeah. All right, so whoever liked, put this together really liked putting washers on everything. It's like two on every single bolt. Not sure what's the thought process on that. Oh. There it was. It was just alignment pins. Good. Inside of here looks gross, but not so bad. Oh, there's a stick in here. That's cool. Oh, it's crumbly. It's got thorns on it. Neat. Got a little thorn on him. Huh. That's good. That helps keep the timing in check. I can finally get to uh, pulling the cam. I don't know. Yep, here's a uh, shaft of some sort. Uh, nice. I'll get it. Yeah. Miss that washer, I guess. Oof. 
probably gonna need a gear puller to pull it off any further, I'm guessing. So instead, I'm gonna do some dumb stuff. Try to pry. Oh, it's moving quite a bit, actually. Ha! I got it. No kidding. Well, this thing looks fantastic. It's keyed, so pretty much can't mess up how that goes on, so that's good. Maybe on this underside. Oh, yeah. That one slides real nice. You have enough pressure. Oh, yeah. Didn't think about it, but this is for the fuel pump that, you know, I just took off too, so that makes sense. Okay, first time ever pulling a cam. Oh, I already dropped it. Nope, stay. Stay with me now. Okay, that's good now. Awesome. Well, we got her out. As far as you can see, don't look too bad. So that's that's a positive. I don't know what do you guys think. She's got somewhere for sure. But I don't think it's that bad. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I got them all out. And, uh, yeah, I think there's just some dirt or something on the bottom. I just ended up using some vice grips because I got tired of it. But it just looks like some of it might have been scraped off when I pulled it out. This one was probably the worst. And, yeah, there's like a sooty buildup on the base of it. Something like that. I don't know. But other than that, I think that was it. So they all look pretty good. Awesome. Well, I guess that's about it for now. So now it's on to the cleaning, and I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. So I'm gonna, we'll catch you guys later. I'll get, I'll, if I have updates, I'll let you know. But for the time being, I think that's it. I'm gonna have to do a lot and a lot of scraping. So I already started wiping down some of these cylinders, like that one. That one wiped right off. This is like basically a little bit of powder is all it was. Then we get ones like this that's really caked on, so we'll go through some of the stuff and just start cleaning it up because I think we're torn down enough to know. I can get all my measurements and all of my what I might want, what I may not want. I don't know. Like I wanna go through the valves kinda. It'd be nice, but I don't know, maybe they've already been done. Maybe maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, so I don't know. This I got tons of stuff to scrape and get going at, so I'm just gonna get going to it, so I'll let you know if I find anything else, but until then, we'll see you later. Thank you guys for watching, and I uh, will see you next time. Take her easy.